Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel and hope you've enjoyed today's video. Today, we're not able to get out for a fish. We are still in isolation here in Melbourne in Victoria and I am filming inside as the weather's pretty cruddy outside. I'm gonna take you guys through my top five favorite brim soft plastics of all time. Now, sit back and relax as I take you through the countdown. I'm gonna go through the types of jig heads, the structure and a quick overview of the techniques that I use. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Cheers. Now, before we start, just wanted to give a quick shout out to Adam Costa at fishing.com.au. Adam has a fantastic website and an awesome shop front in Sydney with all the latest and greatest in fishing lures, lines, jig heads, rods, reels, you name it, Adam has it, including floats for blackfish. So check out his website, pop in and see him, grab a few things. No doubt, a lot of the stuff that I'll be talking about today is on Adam's website. So check it out, buy a few things and support small local businesses. So coming in at number five, is the old school Berkeley Gulp Camo Sandworm. So this is the six inch variety. This is my fifth, or my top five favorite lures of all time. So this lure comes in at number five for a variety of reasons. It's not a lure that you can throw absolutely everywhere during all types of conditions, but I will take you guys through some of my favorite ways to use these sandworms. I've got a couple here in my leak proof tub. Let me just grab one of these guys out to show you. So there's a full six inch sandworm. Also should have a little snippet of me rigging the sandworm in a couple of different ways. But the types of jig heads that I really prefer to use for these sandworms is a straight low weight jig head hook. So this allows me to fish a really lightly, a lightly weighted or essentially an unweighted presentation with just the weight of the hook allowing me to, to make that cast. So what I'm trying to do is fish these worms in really shallow water. I use it to sight fish. I use it around jetties and pontoons when I can see fish feeding right up high on, you know, under boats, under jetties, that type of structure. Um, the other type of structure that I really like to use these on is just shallow, sandy, muddy flats where I can see fish mudding, um, having a dig, so anywhere I can make a nice light presentation, the sandworm really shines for me. So two types of jig head hooks. We've got the, the regular type, as well as our hidden weight hooks with just a little bit of lead on those. And in terms of the retrieve that I use for the sandworm, it's really just a light draw that just gets that worm working through the water. And it's really critical that you rig these nice and straight. Otherwise they do tend to spin a little bit and when you are picking out the packets, try and find the ones that are pretty straight. There are a few bent varieties, but that one's not too bad. So that's a, a handy little tip when you are at the tackle store. Try and make sure that those worms, especially the tails, are nice and straight. Anyway, that's number five. We'll get on to the next one. Alrighty, well here we are at number four, and this lure doesn't need a big introduction at all, and this is the Squidgy Wriggler. Now, this lure has been around for absolutely decades now, and is really one of the one of the first main Australian made soft plastics that took the brim scene by storm. It's a, a fantastic imitation of a, a shrimp or a prawn or even a bait fish with that beautiful curly tail and fantastic colour range. So the one colour that's absolutely been a standout over the years is bloodworm. Now, over the years, the, the machinery, I guess, and the tooling for the companies has changed, and so has the packaging. So there has been some changes in the colour, but overall, this lure is absolutely dynamite on brim, as well as a, you know, a variety of other fish species. But 
for me. This has been one of my favorite brim lures of all time. In terms of size, there's really three main sizes that I use in the squidgy wriggler variety. It's the, you know, the 80 mil, the 100 and the 120. Um, the 100 mil is really the go-to for a lot of, a lot of anglers. Um, and in terms of jig heads, I'm really a fan of just a straight round ball head versus that, you know, fish or data style of head. Um, for me personally, I really enjoy having that, my squidgy wriggler having that constant straight sinking action as opposed to darting from side to side. But that's a personal preference again for me. Um, the other thing that you can do with your wrigglers, if you do find that, you know, the 120 is too big, but you really like that big tail that it's got. One of the things that I have done before as well is just taking a pair of braid scissors or just kitchen scissors and taking the head off, uh, taking a bit of that back spine off, and then what we're left with is a nice straight plastic, and then but we also still retain that big curly tail, which is just so enticing. Um, again, should have a little box with a couple of rigging instructions on how I've rigged these, but the squidgy wriggler is just really, really hard to go past. In terms of structure, I'm really a fan of fishing these out in open water or deep rock walls. Now, I'm not a huge fan of fishing these around structure personally, like jetties, pontoons. There's other lures that I'll take you guys through that are really, I think, a standout around that type of structure. But I think out in the open water, over mud, over sand, um, even on rocky walls, as I mentioned, I think the squidgy wriggler and the big tail, that's where they really shine. Hi guys, coming in at number three on the countdown today is the Z-Man Swim Swim. So this is the two and a half inch from a variety now it's a fantastic paddle tail plastic. Uh, like all Z-Mans, it's made with a 10 times tough material, the Elastec. It's just so, so tough, but at the same time, incredibly supple and has an amazing action. So as that plastic sinks through the water, that tail really kicks and beats and really gets the fish's attention. As it sits on the bottom there, that tail just moves from side to side with a current. Now, I'm a, I'm a fan of throwing these around all types of structure. You know, I even throw these around jetties, boat hulls, fish them out in the open, as well as rock walls. So they're just an amazing all-rounder. Anywhere you get bait fish, and we're really just trying to match the hatch in terms of size and color. So my, fa my two favorites in terms of colors are really the bloodworm and motor oil colors. And in terms of jig head weights, I know people fish them on a variety of different sizes and and weights, but personally, I prefer to fish them on a 120th jig head or heavier. Just allows me to uh, make a nice long cast and also really gets that tail moving. In terms of a, I guess, all round size, I'd be fishing these on a 1 16th ounce jig head and a size two hook. Hope that helps. We're almost there in the countdown. We're at number two. So today, for me personally, the Demiki Monster Miki has to take out the second spot. Now, it was really, really close to taking out top spot for me. Now, there's an absolute abundance of creature style plastics out in the market. You know, we've got things from Bait Breath, Pro Lure, the Berkeley Gulp Krabby. I mean, it's hard to go past. The Kobe Chans, we've got some super realistic you know, little jacks from Modelism, as well as the uh, TRD crawls from Z-Man lately. But, you know, over the years for Dad and I, it's really been the Demiki Monster Miki for us. Um, there's two standout colours in cinnamon, which is the brown and motor oil. We found them to be an absolutely amazing, you know, creature bait, anything from a shrimp to a crab imitation. So as you pull these out of the packet, these two claws are stuck to the body. I strongly suggest that you just pull them apart so you've got some more dangling appendages there. So you've got the legs 
and we've got the big claws there from side to side. Um, in the little cutaway, I've got a couple of ways that I rig these on a straight jig head or traditional jig head, as well as a, uh, a hidden weight head. So in terms of structure and in terms of the way that we fish these, I really prefer to fish them nice and light. Uh, a lot of the time I'm fishing to, I'm casting to fish that I can see. So doing a lot of sight fishing, a lot of structure fishing, I think with uh, you know fishing jetties and pontoons there's a lot of little crabs and I think the the color and size and shape of these lures just makes them a, a perfect little imitation you know sinking crab or a falling crab or a falling shrimp in and around weed and mussels and uh, pylons so really it's just nice light presentation on a 120th to a 128th of an ounce jig head um, size 2 hook generally speaking and what I'm trying to do is just get that plastic to flutter down nice and straight, get those little arms and legs moving as much as possible. But in terms of the retrieve, I really prefer a nice aggressive twitch twitch retrieve where the plastic really hops and darts and then starts to fall back down through that water column again, just keeping a nice semi-tight line and just feeling for those ticks in the line. So not only are they great around structure we have fished them quite a bit around uh, you know open flats mud where the fish are digging uh, rock walls as well lots of crabs around rocks so these are a fantastic all-rounder for me that's why they're in number two Hey guys, so here we are at number one, and it's probably come as no surprise to a lot of you, but the two and a half inch Z-Man Grub is the number one soft plastic for me, especially in the motor oil color. Now, curl tail grubs have been around forever. A lot of us started out fishing Berkeley Power Grubs, Atomic Fat Grubs, you know, Mega Bass has done some grubs. A lot of companies have come up with a curl tail grub, and the reason for that is they're just a fantastic all round lure, but there's something about that motor oil color in the Z-Mans that's absolutely dynamite for brim. They're super easy to rig. Um, there should be a little cutaway video of me uh, rigging a couple of examples of these grubs. Now they come in a variety of sizes from two all the way up to three inches and in between being the two and a half inch being the most popular around the country. In terms of jig head size, I really prefer to fish these on a 1 16th or heavier, just allows that tail to kick nicely as it's sinking through the water column. In terms of structure, really these are just a fantastic all-rounder. You can fish them around trees and snags, rock walls, jetties, pontoons, cast them anywhere. They will catch fish all around the country. They're absolutely dynamite. In terms of action, there's really two types of actions that we can use, or let's go with three. The, the main one for me is really the twitch, twitch pause retrieve. So casting out, letting that lure sink to the bottom, giving it two short sharp twitches, keeping a semi-tight line. And as that grub falls back down with that tail kicking, that's when you know the majority of the bites will come. The other technique that we also employ is just the, the lift and pause. So very similar to the twitch retrieve. However, it's just more of a uh, less aggressive retrieve, let's say. It's those times that the fish are a little bit shut down. We just use a light, nice light draw um, the plastic will come up through the water column and then just slowly fall back down. So those times the fish aren't switched on, give the lift and draw retrieve a go. And finally, there's the, the slow roll retrieve. This works really well on shallow, sandy and mud, mud flats and works really well with quite a heavy jig head. So, you know, a, a 12th or an 8th or even a 6th allows you to really punch that plastic out and the heavy head really just bounces along the bottom, that tail kicks, and it's just a really slow, slow wind, keeping the rod tip down, pointing at the water, and it just allows that plastic to grub along, and the fish just come up, have a look behind it, and will often come and grab it as it's just been grubbed along the bottom. So that's it for the countdown, guys. So the Z-Man two and a half inch motor oil color is the number one soft plastic for me, especially in the last decade. It's probably won more tournaments than any other plastic that I can think of. So that's it for the countdown for today of my top five 
brim soft plastics at all time. So just to recap, in fifth place is the Berkeley Gulp six inch camo sandworm. In fourth place, the Squidgy Wriggler in bloodworm color. In third place is the Z-Man two and a half inch slim swim. In second place, the Damiki two and a half inch monster Miki. And in first place, no big surprise to a lot of you, is the two and a half inch Z-Man grub in motor oil color. Well, that wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a slightly different format. If you did enjoy it, please let me know. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. So, hope to see you guys in the next one. All the best, cheers.